Welcome to our video on identifying and plotting points in the four quadrants of a graph. Let's go over the four quadrants um, first, just to, to really get a sense of what they are. So over here, this area, that's the, the first quadrant, and it does keep going. I mean, I don't have to draw the square that small. I, I can say, well, it keeps going forever and ever, right? And that, that's the first quadrant. And then, well, if we go counterclockwise, that's left, making a circle left, going left, we come to our second quadrant, right? And then we have our third quadrant down here, right? I'm trying to make these relatively the same size, but they, they could be different sizes because, I mean, we're just trying to represent infinite spaces here, right? Because it's going on forever in those directions. And then last, but not least, of course, we have our fourth quadrant. So, there are four quadrants here, and let's just label them so we really are getting this, right? We have our first quadrant, second, third, and fourth. And what about points that are on the axes in between? Well, that's not a quadrant. So on the axes, right, up and down the y-axis, or left and right on the x-axis, that's not in a quadrant because it's, I mean, it's in the border, right? It's on the border between quadrants. And also there are, each, each quadrant has a, a unique property so if we allowed the border to represent part of that quadrant, it would take away those cool properties, and it would be harder to kind of figure out what's going on. So we use quadrants to talk about all kinds of graphs. Uh, it's not just an arbitrary definition. It helps us do a lot of thinking about uh, where a shape is and how it's going to behave. Um, so anyway, but in this, in this video, we've got those four quadrants, and all our job is to do is to, you know, find a point in that quadrant and label it. So let's just look at this question. They say two vertices are of a right triangle are shown in the coordinate plane below. Let's just go over that. If I have lines, right, every time two lines meet, what do they form? When two lines meet, they form a vertice. This is a vertice. Vert vertice, or I, vertices, right? One, two, and three. And individually, you'd call it a vertex. Anyway, so they're talking about, imagine a triangle formed with these two dots. And we could, we could draw a line here, right? And then the third point, it could be up here. It could be over here. It could be anywhere, really. Um, so, so we only know two of the dots. And these are two of the vertices of the triangle. So, so which point could represent the third vertex oh, of the right triangle? Okay. So I guess I'm wrong. Not any point can represent the third point, right? Because we have a right triangle. So um, this could be a difficult question. Um, they could make it really hard, but they put these two points in a location where you can almost see that the right triangle point would go here or here. Because what happens then? Well, let's just draw out those two triangles. So I had the blue triangle, right? There's my third vertex, and you can see the right triangle. And then if I had a light blue over here, right, that would form my other right triangle. Now, I'm, I'm trying to think more about this problem. Could there be other points if they gave us other options to form a right triangle? I think that, I think that the answer is yes. Um, I'm just trying to think where it would go. But anyway, I'll, I'll come back to that, I think, in another video. So we've got these two options. One, two options for points. Here is one vertex, and there's the other, and there's the right angles. Remember, a right triangle has one 90-degree angle, and a 90-degree angle looks like an L, right? So which point could represent the, that one of these two vertices? 5, negative 1. Well, when you read 5, negative 1, you start with the number 5, and that's on the x-axis, left and right. So here you notice there are positive numbers, right? So that's... If x is positive, which it is here, points are, are written how? Well, they're written x first, the x value first, and then the y value. So we go to 5, right? We go over 5 to the right. And then the next instruction is to go into negative 1 on the y-axis. And you notice the y-axis, these values appear positive, and these are negative. So if it says negative 1 on the y-axis, we go down 1 from there, and that's our point, right? We're sitting all the way over here. And that's the point 5, negative 1, which is, I mean, and even if we were unsure about it, if I connected this point to these vertices over here, you can see there's triangles obtuse, 
almost, my drawing is a little terrible there. Let me get the line tool. If I connect it to this point right here, one, two, see this pink triangle is like an obtuse triangle because it has this really big angle, it's not a right triangle. So that's kind of out. Now one negative five, where is that? Well one to the right and then negative five, it's down here. And again, if we try to connect this point to these two vertices, what do we get? We get another obtuse uh, triangle, because it's a big angle right here. Remember, an obtuse angle is over 90 degrees. What about negative 1, 5? Well, I want to clear some of this up, because we can't see anything. And I think I have enough undos set up. Okay, almost. Well, negative 1, 5, where is that going to be? Well, we go to the negative 1 on the x-axis first. Remember, x, the x values come first. So we go 1 this way, and then we go up 5, up there. Well now, if I connected right, these, these three points, you can see that this triangle looks equilateral. It's not a right triangle, so that's out. So C is out. So I'm guessing, I mean, D is probably our only option here. That's left. I hope it's right. I hope I do this problem right. So what does it tell us to do? We'll go negative 5 on the x-axis, and then positive 1. That's up 1 on the y-axis, right there, that point. And there, that's one of the points we predicted before. And if I connect it to the points that were given, we do get a right triangle. So D is the answer. And the other option that we have is this point up here. What's that point? Well, that's just negative 2 and then up 4. So the point is negative 2, 4. That would have also worked. Okay, now I have many other videos on this topic, I think, in our 7th grade or middle school playlist. And there'll be something about the same topic, plotting points in the four quadrants, probably under geometry. So I hope that helps.